Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for Sign of Taurus. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Taurus. If you'd like a, a personal reading, that is going to be in the description down below. However, first link there is going to be my Etsy shop. Where you can find my tarot and my oracle cards on there. Currently have a 50% off sale on most shop items on there. We can literally find things as low as $1 on there. From now until the 21st of this month, you can find my holographic stickers. As well as the mini holographic version of my oracle cards. And now my pins. Okay, so we have the Serapis Bay pin. We have the Green Man pin. We have the White Raven pin. All that's in the description down below on my Etsy shop. Like I said, you can find things as literally low as $1 on there. 50% off sale from now until the 21st of this month. Okay, so Taurus, let us see what is happening for you. I want to say Sagittarius and Scorpio. So I don't know if you have those placements or if you have one coming around you. Let's see. So we have the Page of Swords with the Two of Wands. Remember those signs I mentioned before? I feel like there's some communication happening between those two. Here, cause with this Two of Wands here, Page of Swords. That is strongly what I feel, where there's going to be some sort of communication happening between those two. Here. We have the Knight of Cups. Nine of Wands. Hierophant, which could be your own card. Seven of Wands. We have the Emperor, which is Aries, the Hangman, Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, yeah. What's very interesting here, Taurus, is I see you rising up above, I see you becoming this Emperor, alright, this boss, this big business person, feels like that's where your main focus is, which is good because there's a lot to come of that. However, I see two people here where the door is opening between them, and I think it's those signs I mentioned in the beginning, where it's like, you know these two, but it's like, I see these two being together here. Either way, I see you excelling at business tours, okay? The Queen of Cups with the Ace of Wands. It can be some moves or travels. I feel like for you, it may be these people here. Um, you could be going on the road, you could be doing things here, Taurus, because look at this, we have one landscape to another here. And the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups can be water, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, we have a Seven of Swords, which I never like that card. We have a Lovers, we have Death, which is funny, Scorpio, Page of Swords, King of Cups, Water, the Hermit, Page of Wands, Three of Wands. That is what I feel towards, and I hate to keep repeating this. I wish we could just do your reading, you know, your life, instead of like other people's readings coming into your reading here, but it's something that it does keep pointing out. So I see, I honestly see these people here being together. Alright, and maybe kind of. Like, if, if you notice them being kind of, like, distant towards you, not speaking, I don't care if this is, like, a friend, family, whatever they are to you, but I feel like that's where they, that's what they're, they're up to, apparently. So, um, however, Taurus, what I feel like for you, I feel like you got, you got big dreams here you need to follow. Okay, you need to really follow your dreams. I feel like there's going to be a lot of things to come of that, there's going to be big things happening there. Okay, what is this? The Ace of Wands, yeah. Go to what you're being led to. Alright, like career-wise, business-wise, you know, projects, tours. Two of Wands. And the Moon wanting to come out, so maybe this all happens between, uh, between the Moon. I guess it could be between here and the moon, the next full moon that we have on the 16th. It could be coming out like that. 
between the moon, between here and the moon, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the world, the world which can be completion. We have the Five of Cups, Six of Wands, which is success, strength. Be Leo, maybe you have Leo placements here. We have the Fool. All right, yeah, I see you doing your own thing here, Taurus. All right, you're merging into your strength. You're going maybe into like new areas of your life. A lot of success is coming up for you, where you may be a public figure, a lot of people looking up to you. This is completion here. Okay. Page of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like your big thing here is going to be work, career, your craft. You have the Magician, King of Swords, Queen of Cups once again. You have the Queen of Wands, which is fire, which can go back to that Sag. We have the Moon, Four of Wands, Empress, Ten of Cups. Okay. So, Taurus, one thing I do see for you, I see you see you manifesting here. I see you manifesting your Ten of Cups because it feels like your heart is open. And once again, I see the, I honestly strongly see these people. And it feels like around the moon, between here and the full moon here, where they're having like a partnership here, which can lead to um, them being happy. Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. But either way, Taurus. I see you manifesting with your heart space as well, all right? That being abundance. What I want you to do, I want you to have like white and red flowers around you because that could attract, that can really raise your vibration here. That can attract spirits in towards you, okay? Where it can help you manifest and co-create here. Your Ten of Cups, what makes you happy, what emotionally fulfills you here, okay? The moon. Maybe some offerings to spirits. We have like fish here. Fish and feathers, flowers. And the Nine of Pentacles. And the Five of Swords with the Sun. I see you moving forward here, Taurus. You're kind of leaving behind all that sort of drama or issues that may be in your life, but you're moving forward here towards the Sun, towards happiness. Okay, even on this Nine of Pentacles, we have the Sun, the Six of Swords, you're moving forward, Ten of Pentacles, you're moving forward towards your Ten of Pentacles here, Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, Justice, which is Libra, the Tower. And I see you leaving all this behind here, Taurus, and I see you moving towards stability, home, um, abundance, all right? This is a big boom moment. Tower. Okay, so let's get some ruins and some charms for you. See what we even have here. We have this one, this. We have obsidian, which is a protective stone. We have the monkey, so that could be the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. We have the raven. Okay, the raven could be magic here. And then we have this, which I feel like is, is these people that you know, because we have water and fire here. Either way, um, Taurus. Yeah, we have you getting out of hardship and moving towards success. Towards Okay, so that was a weird, this is a strange reading. Either way, like I said, go on in the description down below. Got my Etsy shop. Go on and go buy something. Really appreciate that. Also, personal reading will also be in the description down below. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.